This is Better Rate Business with Mrs. Latin. Let's get into the pestle analysis. Right. Grade 12, the pestle is an acronym that's and I know that you know about this, but let's just go over it and make sure that you understand in grade 12, you have to do the challenges in this environment, as well as what would your solutions be. Understanding this is a macro environment, so you are not going to be able to control any elements of this at all. But you should have a plan, even with uncontrollables, you should have a plan what you would do. So, the P stands for political. In South Africa, our challenges are our corruption levels are very high in governments, um, in companies. I mean, we've had a lot of scandals over the um, last couple of years with regards to corruption. So that is a challenge. Political coronavirus, in particular with the petrol station, are travel restrictions. Government have imposed travel restrictions onto all um, the people of South Africa. So that will impact on your engine because it's no more holidays and um, the fuel consumption piece. We've um, been called, um, because of Corona, it's a national state of disaster. So with all these challenges, there's not much that we can do. However, the solution or the strategy that you could have to, to to understand these challenges is to keep up with the news, to make sure that you understand what's happening in current affairs. As a manager, you need to find awareness. If you look at economic, the economic situation in South Africa at the moment is our currency is at an all time low and we import our crude oil. So when our currency is low, we are going to then pay a lot of money for um, the crude oil coming in. Our unemployment rate is at 35. Eskim. Eskim is a state owned um, uh, parastatal and it's going to influence our business because we don't have electricity to run our pumps, et cetera, et cetera. So from an economic point of view, what could some of our strategies be to overcome this? Again, to understand what's happening in the market, get a generator in, um, and make sure that you've got solar powered panels and things like that in order to try and curb that. Social. Our social um, environment in South Africa is we've got a very big poverty gap. HIV AIDS, education, then our crime. And with coronavirus, with people not having jobs, crime is definitely going to be on the increase. So what could we do as a business to understand that these are challenges? Well, from a crime point of view, we could make sure that we've got security systems in place. Um, certainly try and do some promotions with, um, with our customers. Technology. Technology is always changing. So the environment is a very dynamic environment uh, with regards to technology. Online shopping is very big. Cyber attacks could be a challenge. Um, and online shopping for our engines and our um, Caltexes could be a um, lack of public sector investment into technology, smart payments, electric charging units, these could all be seen as challenges. So the solution would be to counteract that. Let's have a look at what kind of smart payment technology we can bring in. Online shopping, could we offer some sort of online shopping um, as a convenience store down the road? And electric charging units, let's have a look at what we can do there. Legal. BBBEE, -E, Broad Based Black Economic Empowerment Act, has come into um, South Africa where it gives people that are black in color um, opportunities within the um, business. So, with petrol stations, a lot of uh, your petrol station head offices will not even look at an application unless you are BBBEE. -E, okay, so that's uh, challenging in itself because BBBEE. -E, is great in theory, but the implementation, it's still keeping um, the masses, you know, it hasn't impacted on the masses are below the, the poverty line. So it's keeping a very much the same people very wealthy in that sense. 
Um, the industry is also highly regulated. So we need to make sure from a legal point of view that you've either got a lawyer, that you understand the legalities, and that you are implementing the um, necessary laws that need to be um, within your environment. So environments are challenges because we're dealing with a very hazardous material. There's been oil spills, pollution, the carbon tax, all of that, those are challenges within um, our business. So strategies would be to have a risk plan if there's an oil spill and what would you do? And also carbon tax, to have that carbon tax, to be trying to lower um, your pollution rates within the industry. Ethics. Ethics, we have, as I said before, there's lots of corruption. We have a trust deficit in South Africa, so not many countries trust us. And what does that then imply is that we're not going to be getting investments and without the economic cycle is not going round and round because we need people to invest in our country. So from an ethics point of view, as a company, what could you do? Well, you could um, have a code of ethics. You could ascribe to the King's Code. Those are strategies that you could then have to overcome any ethical challenges. And then physical is the physical um, uh, environment. So Total made one of the most important discoveries um, and in, in Brulpada, offshore South Africa. So they've actually found crude oil, which is a wonderful strategy to overcome a challenge that we do not have our own crude oil. So from a physical point of view, yes. Our oil is known as So that um, would definitely be a very good strategy to, to uh, from a total point of view, is to ensure that we get the crude oil um, in South Africa. Grade 12s, I hope that that helped you. I've gone through that quite quickly. But PESTEL is definitely asked in your IEB. They will ask one, um, I've seen them ask two or three of these. I've never seen paper one do the whole PESTEL analysis. Of course, in paper two, it would be wonderful if they're asking you to talk about the macro environments. Please remember, you must know what the challenges are, but your strategies to overcome them. So I've um, helped you with some strategies. Let me know if you need anything else. Please subscribe and please leave any comments at the bottom. Help me be better for you. That is Better With Business. Thank you so much. Have a good day.